actually comes from a double gold medalist. This is from Lauren Williams. Um, and she is wondering, um, are there any veteran athletes that have helped you to navigate the world of being a professional track and field? Um, I got lucky to be in Allison Felix's training group and she has really grown into a big sister for me and even though I don't train with her now, like she still gives me great solid advice and I feel like if there's anyone's career I want to emulate or just a person on, even just off the track that I want to emulate, it's her. So it's really been a blessing to have her in my life and I think if you, you're a younger athlete, I think having someone who's been through the trenches tell you how to get through that is really important and really precious to have. So. Um, in my college career, I was coached by Benita Kunar, who used to also do triple jump. Um, and she helped me kind of figure out what I wanted to do after college and letting me know the difficulties that come with um, pursuing a professional career when you don't necessarily get um, as much support. And so she did make an impact on me um, in my early, in my first year of being a professional. Ronnie, what is the vibe like in the sprint world after Bolt? I mean, does it just feel different? Do people talk differently, have different aspirations? Is there any way that you could sort of encapsulate that? Um, to be totally honest, I've only been pro for two years, so I mean, as far as uh, kind of the atmosphere, I don't really know how it was because I never <laughs> like the year that I was uh, that I came in was a, yeah was last year, and so um, I didn't really get to like be around Bull or like any of the guys that were that were uh, at those major championships. Um, so I mean. I can't really compare it to anything uh, at this point. I mean, I think that there's a lot of talk about who's going to be the next guy um, because that that gets thrown around all the time. Oh, this guy's the next the next Usain Bolt, or you know. Um, but for me, I'm just trying to keep a level head as far as listening to everyone and what's going on in that in that kind of world. But if I had to compare, I, I couldn't really tell you. Um, but I just know that. Everyone's kind of looking for that next person, um, and I'm just lucky to be in the, in the conversation. Uh, yeah, also for Ronnie, uh, the U.S. went 1-2 in your event last year at Worlds, but neither of those guys, Gatlin or Coleman, are going to be competing at this meet. I'm wondering, are you, are you disappointed by that? I mean, do you wish you got the chance to beat them? Is it If you win the national title, is that going to feel... I guess any less valuable to you. I know you've beaten Coleman already this year, but what you know? What are your thoughts on that? Um, it's definitely not going to be uh, any less value to me at all. I'm here to compete, and uh, I think that winning uh, a national or a national title is always something good that you can put on your resume. And so it doesn't really matter who's here uh, and who who I compete against. Um, I I would love to see them here. Um, that would be great because those guys we always all push each other, and so. Um, that would be amazing for them to be here, but um, I know that you know they've got things going on. I know Coleman's had a long hamstring injury, and so um, you know, best wishes to them and his his road to recovery. Hopefully, I'll see him this summer. But it definitely doesn't uh, diminish the value of, of winning this meet at all. We have another fan question. This one's kind of fun. Uh, what is one song you always turn on to get hyped for your race competition? <laughs> Robbie, you're the singer. Oh, 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 It's Drake always exclusively. <laughs> Just Drake. But if not that song, I also like Sunrise by Childish Gambino. And I like, I like, I like that by Janelle Monae. What else, guys? Um, for me, I make a, I make a new playlist like at every meet. So if there's like new music, if, 
if I like a song on one album, I'll just play it until I cannot stand it anymore. Like I'll play like 300. There's some times where I'm at in the warm-up area and I'll listen to one song for the whole hour. So. I, I, I did that before. <laughs> like Cardi B got me through world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say Cardi B song too. Yeah, I think for me it's like I just need if you watch me warm up, I have to dance when I warm up, so I need a really good beat. <laughs> and then something like aggressive, so I feel like the baddest girl on the track. Mm -hmm. um, so like a nice for what, a Bodak yellow, I something do. like that. Yeah. And I'm the opposite. I like R and B, slow, <laughs> calm, like <laughs> to my friend is a little gospel. Yeah, I listen to gospel. I am like the opposite of Corey, so just anything really chill. No. No. <laughs> like, no. So Brian, do you have your playlists already set? Uh, yes, I do. I have about uh, twenty songs on it. There's probably gonna be one that I'm gonna gravitate to though, so but I do have it set. Is it going to be a surprise? You'll tell us later? Um, okay. I can, I can give you guys, let's see. I think it's public on Spotify. Yeah, it is public on Spotify, actually. Um, if you want to follow me on Spotify, my tag is Ronnie, R-O-N-N-I-E, dot Baker14. So if you want to check out the playlist, <laughs> it will be titled USA Outdoor Championships. So check it out there. Very nice, very nice. All right, when did the dancing and warm-up start, Corey? How did you... Get into that. I think all my life, since I've been running, um, I think hurdling is all about rhythm, and I have a lot of energy, so I need to like. I think it's part of my jitters. It's like, okay, don't sit there and think. Just like, just keep moving, keep grooving. Like my agent says, he's like, I know if your dance moves are on point, like we're gonna have a great race. So <laughs> it just keeps me calm and like keeps me moving. So you did that before the final in London last year. Yeah, like if you saw me warming up, I was like rapping and pretending I was party T and I was just <laughs> like, can I can tell you, I was in the zone. Can you do a party T voice impersonation for us? Oh, I don't like, I, it's like, I'm not the words, I'm not. 